Okay, so we're back. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of Let's Play Majora's Mask. And I'm playing this time. Yep, uh, I played last time, so Victor's playing this time. Uh, I am Kyle Witty as usual, and with me is Victor, and we also have special guest Josh, uh, who is probably the registered Zelda file of this group and racing, uh, racing expert. Yes. Now, he, yeah, uh, we actually spoke about this uh, yesterday when we were recording, um, keep going, man. Pod Racer. <laughs> yeah, we were. we were. We were playing Pod Racer, and he was mentioning how you helped Victor, uh... Unlock that last dude in Pod Racer, and you helped me unlock, uh, TT from... Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, Diddy Kong is probably my favorite cartridge of all. Yeah? Very closely followed by Ocarina of Time and the Majora's Mask, for sure. Uh, for me, like... As far as the order of things go, uh -huh. uh, definitely for cartridge games for N64, one of my top favorites, which I have, is Bomberman 64. Yeah, I, got, I got that recently. Yeah. Um, Star Fox 64, and then... Uh, I mean, recently I can say Ocarina of Time because I beat it for the first time ever, like... Uh, well, yeah. uh, a month, a few months ago. Yeah. Like, I always... I, I would always either rent it or borrow it from a friend so I could never actually, like, get into it. Yeah. But I downloaded it one day off of the Nintendo oh. market before it shut down for the Wii. So Are I you a new it. friend of the Bombers game? Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> your mm. manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. That good man is a troublemaker <laughs> from the other day said he'd break my instruments. I am in a rock band with <laughs> the old carpenter from Clock Town. <laughs> he said he'd steal my mom's. Oh, <laughs> my mom! <tear. laughs> Stealing your mom's tear. Dude, steal my mom's tears. <laughs> that is just. That is a dick move. <laughs> The I am going to punch your mom and collect your tears in a jar. <laughs> he said he'd steal my moon's tears. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> there was no stopping him. Can I say something? What? Can... If the first statement's true, blah, blah, blah. how old is this guy's mom? Yeah. Skeleton. There's actually, I've, I heard there's a way to glitch the game out. If you look at the moon or look at the clock tower, right, uh, when it like ends on the third day, it'll like stop time. You, yeah, I want to try it out at some point. Not this. Book. No, no. Wait, look, there's another moon's tear that you can just kind of. The go moon out. cries hellfire. <laughs> just saying. It's actually funny because the he'll like ah kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we were talking about this earlier too, uh, Josh. <laughs> the amount of. Uh, <laughs> Like, the amount of, of, of what I've played of this game, which is, it's not too much, but it's been a little bit to get to know, like, the character of Tattle a little bit. Yeah. I mean, granted, the Tattle isn't as annoying or as generic as Navi. I still don't like her. <laughs> you don't like Tattle? She's well, a, this she's, a, he's also she's, hasn't played the game fully, so well, by the end as of the right, game... Well, as of yeah. right now, I don't like Tattle, because all Tattle's been so far is just this <laughs> colossal jerk. Yeah, I definitely prefer the, um, I definitely like the character, like, all of the, obviously they use the same geometry for the characters, but yeah. they give them different, uh, dialogue, which generates more personality, I think, for this game. Yeah. It definitely gives it a unique spin, um, but I, I still prefer, uh, Nabi, you know, more more on the heroic side of things, where oh, yeah? Tattle, the pain in the rear side of things. You Have know? you ever? Uh, we were talking about this in the last episode, Josh. Did you ever watch the the game theory about Majora's Mask? I did not. There's a there's a theory. Uh, also, I think I'll actually put the link to the video in this too, because mm -hmm. uh, it's a great video. It's game theorist Matt Pat. Um, he did a he did a video with Peanut Butter Gamer. Ah, uh, crap. And it's a theory that. The events of Majora's Mask, Link is actually dead, and he's going through the stages of grief coping with his own loss. Like, 
there's, um, like, the masks are very spiritual, and there are, like, hints here and there, because the Hyrule Historia confirmed that in Twilight Princess, the Stalfos is the hero of time. The Stalfos that trains you? Yeah. So, that happens no matter what, but there's certain things like how you encounter a lot of spirits in the game, there's a lot of death in this game as far as characters go. Um, there's the fact that Link can make statue copies of certain masks. Yeah. One of which being himself. The energy, no, the elegy of elegy of emptiness. Yeah. yeah, and like I said though, he can make he can only make copies of specific spirit maps, being the Deku Shrub, the Zora, the Gorn, and himself, which are all characters who have died. If I'm not mistaken, this takes place if, if the hero fails. Am I not mistaken? No, this one's if he succeeds. This is this is this is the direct sequel yeah. to to Ocarina of Time. That's right. If yeah. it's the story of well, what, succeed, yeah. well, the the what if though for Majora's Mask is if he went back to being a kid. Yeah, this is a, the uh, Twilight uh, Princess storyline is if he remained an adult. Yeah, that's right. I think it was Adventure of Link is what if he failed. Yes, and the very first Zelda game ever, I believe, is uh, Ganon is destroyed versus Ganon being banished. Mm. But um. Right now, between the three of us, your favorite Zelda companion ever. I'll start. Because my favorite Zelda game is Twilight Princess. And my favorite, my, in my opinion, both the best and my favorite companion character has to be Vinna. Yeah. She's, she's, she's useful, she's strong, like, she's got a great personality, her backstory's cool. I mean, granted, they go complete and total 4chan with her yeah. when um, she transforms into being a human. But still, like, you, you feel for her and you understand her, plus she's just... she's useful. Like, she actually does a lot for you. Like, she teleports you places, she can, like, help you navigate, things like that. Yeah. As of right now, like, the runner-up, if it wasn't going to be Midna, would probably be the King of Red Lions. I think so. I, uh... As far as usefulness goes. Yeah, um, my... My favorite for sure is Navi. Because... Yeah? Being... Being that Zelda Ocarina of Time was a 3D game, and a lot of the 3D games that came out around those times that tried to come up with a true living world, if you will, had a very poor, poor uh, way of communicating like where you're supposed to go, mm. how to interact with that's the object. That's true. Like there, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. But I played. I'm, I'm trying to remember the game I played. But it's like you'd have to like pick up certain blocks and move them. But certain blocks wouldn't be movable whatsoever. But you could move other blocks. And it's like, well, this doesn't make any sense. If some can move, others can't. How am I supposed to know which one? But. You know, when you have the action icon in addition with Navi and Zelda, you know that you can push, climb, go through a door, a door's blocked. You That's can... true. She had, she was very good at discerning your limitations in the game. And I also like the fact that it was the first game that I knew that had an in-game bestiary by when by access by uh, pressing the C up button when you lock on. Yeah. I mean, gr that's a very good point. Like, Navi was very useful as a character. And, um, like, I mean, granted, let's face it, the, re the reason why most people say they don't like Navi is simply just because of the the repetitiveness of the hate listen. Oh, oh, I mean, that's, that's... I just thought she was annoying. I didn't think she had much character. Is that a toilet? Yeah. Right, okay. there was a, there is no nowhere near as much character for sure, mm -hmm. but um, I think with the length of, I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna say that Ocarina of Time is longer than Twilight Princess, no way. Yeah. But um, through what you had to figure, like I said, about it being like one of the first 3D games that successfully brought everything together. True. I think. Just from the useful, the, on the usefulness side of things, not necessarily the character development side of things. Right. I think That's... Navi was the most helpful. Thus, I was the most. I think you know, like I said, it being the first, I was the most 
that's the most awe-inspiring. You know, it's when when, right. when you when something is first introduced to you that makes sense. It's, that's what you stick by. That becomes your standard. For yeah, me, it's Navi. I got gotcha. you. Makes sense. That's your standard. That's what you're given. That's Navi and Navi. There's no like. There's no limitations when it comes to it. Also, you just you get Navi and she helps you navigate, which yeah. does her job very well. And that's the true purpose of the companions in Zelda is just to make they're there to guide you. Let's see. <laughs> so Victor, yours. Uh, Mine is Midna. Midna. Yeah. So you're with me in that one. Mm -hmm. Another thing too, by the way, um, a lot of people rip on uh, Ego like Ego Raptor being one of them. Rip on Skyward Sword. I haven't played Skyward Sword, so I can't really give a... Have you played Skyward Sword, Josh? I have. And what do you think of it? What do you want to say about it? Bits? The game itself, or the companion? Both. Um, I wasn't... That was... Way... Be your sword... Ends up being way too much. Uh... Way too much of the helpful end. It takes way too much out of the adventure, because... With the amount of hints you receive... And the, uh, just, it's not just the amount of hints, the various types. Like, they make you do something called dowsing, which is when you yep. point, you basically point your sword in a very, in various directions until you get a beep, you know, a beeping sound, and that's the direction you have to go. It's like, well, where's yeah, the that, sense of exploration that, then? That, 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 I will admit, is, uh, dumb. Because I've, I've, I've played and I've beaten Skyward Sword. Yeah. Mm. Now, I mean... Like I said, it's it's definitely not like it's not the greatest Zelda game ever, but it's also not the worst. No, I think they I think they definitely delivered in Skyward. Are you, are you just killing time until you have to go to the tower? Yeah, but I thought there was I thought there was a fish in the pillow. <laughs> I mean, as far as oh yeah, it looks like a fish. I play like a fish in the uh, yeah. Does it look like a fish? There's a fish in the kitchen. Oh, that's the uh, that looks like flowers. Yeah, at, at first I thought that was a fish, but then I had to actually look at it. It was a guy. Somebody just flowers. popped a fish on the table. I no, I, I get to the clock like tower soon. Kyle, it looks like there's a fish on the uh, pillow. Yeah, see? Right where the... Oh! Okay. <laughs> that, I'm like... I thought you were right like somebody like plopped Tail's it. Tail's right there and then the mouth is like right there. Okay. I, I thought you meant like somebody just plopped a fish on the table. Yeah, I'm just gonna burgle your houses while you're gone. So, yeah, Skyward Sword, I mean, dousing, yeah, that was, that was lame. But Skyward Sword also, like, in a means of its controls and its, and its exploration when you could not have to rely on dowsing, was really good. Oh yeah, they're still having that stupid argument. Huh? Ah? Most of the town folk have already have taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. Why does the captain of the guard look like she -Ra? The only ones left <laughs> are public servants and committee members. Mr. Matt. Mr. Mayor and Carnival Committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Uh, uh, uh well. no. <laughs> um, well. You coward! You actually believe me, fall? <laughs> right, he said fall his mouth and fall! <laughs> <laughs> the confused town folks simply <laughs> can't <laughs> believing this ridiculous ground <laughs> Right. That's what the son of the background is doing, he's opening his mouth. Huh? Yeah, the second. Text, 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 text. <sighs> lots of, lots of talking. Lots of exposition. So yeah, I mean, like, yeah, the dousing feature was dumb, but the combat system and the flight system on the back of, like... I music is super cheery when there's, like, yeah. tremors from the... The flight system in Skyward Sword was good, and I, I, I gotta say, too, like, Fee was not a terrible companion. No, it's... Not as a character, not, you know, they definitely, they definitely did the character right, just game, the, the gameplay aspect of, of V was just a little, a little too invasive for someone such as myself who likes to explore and find things out for myself. You literally cannot play that game without being told where to go. That's true. Like, you know what I mean? to say that's, well. no, that's, that's, that is true, I mean, they, that is what he was trying to say. I never, I never said I didn't agree with him. Like, there's there's a sequelitis that you grabbed into recently about uh, about Ocarina of Time versus Link to the Past, mm. and he bashes Skyward Sword in that game. Which, like I said, granted, it's not a it's not it's not perfect. It's not the, it's not a perfect Zelda game. And it's not the best Zelda game, but it's also not a terrible one. 
I do agree with Josh, though. There is not as much of a sense of exploration in that game as there is in other ones like this one. But at the same time, I also, um... How do I get to the clock tower? Uh, I can't go fly over him. It's getting close to crunch time, dude. You might want to get to the clock tower. Uh, no, it's not plenty of time. You still have another six hours. Yeah. It's at midnight. Oh, it's right. It's only 5 p.m. right now. So, um... Like I said, though, combat and uh, navigation as far as what, when you could free roam and you could do those kind of things. Yeah. And the fact that you could actually customize and make your own weapons, like, as far as things go, like, upgrading them. That I thought was cool. Um, there were just elements that I thought were... There were elements that Skyward Sword did, did really, really well. Granted, to do those elements, they ended up sacrificing a lot of the free roam aspect. Yeah, it was... It was definitely... Let... So, from a game designer standpoint, it was definitely, let me tell you, as the game designer, let me tell you a story. But as the game player, you're just following this single stream of events. You know, yeah, it's, no, it wasn't... There's no game player's freedom to choose how things are going to unfold. It was very linear. Exactly. Which, we weren't used to Zelda games being linear. Very much so. And, I actually, in truth, Zelda games probably... Zelda games shouldn't be like that. When I, the first they time they weren't, I'm sorry to interrupt, but they they were definitely initially not known as linear games. They're very much they started out like how Metroid games were, where you can go anywhere and do anything you want and get any item in any order, essentially. Yeah. And then you know even skip items and still win. <coughs> the first True. time I the first time I beat Ocarina of Time, I beat the fire temple before I beat the forest temple. Exactly. So, yeah. That's a very good example of what I of what I was coming when I I remember like the first like the first time I ever played I really enough time. I just remember like uh, I just remember being super like excited when I finally got past like this thing I recently like I remember just being super excited when I got past those stages that I got stuck on as a kid. Uh-huh. Because I mean I didn't really get into gaming until I was older. Are you really gonna deposit your one rupee? Yeah, I want to see if you said it's a lot. <laughs> you want you want to evaluate this uh, this person's perspective on financial income? Uh, That's it. That ain't nothing at all, big spender. Uh -huh. But if you say so, we were you're like one rupee. That's a lot. A lot. A lot. I like how this game teaches you to save. Yeah, it does. Yeah, because the, the, when the days reset, you lose your money. It's actually kind of. But uh, I meant it's more of the life yeah. lesson. Oh, it is definitely a life lesson. Just you know, save your money and you get good things. Exactly. I like how you can actually go into the post office and see him like losing his shit before it ends. Oh God, help me! Oh, I want to flee, but but it's not written in the schedule. Really? So you you got that that's that's dedication right there. Uh huh. It, it's also a joke about the post office. Hold on, hold on. Did listen, you write a letter to himself? Just, just listen, just listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To myself, you have been doing a great job delivering the mail. I have a request for my hardworking self. All of the townsfolk have taken refuge. I want myself to flee too. Even if it's not written on the schedule, I want myself to flee, please. From that's actually really sad. This guy is. That's, that's super because dark. He, that's because he's probably the only guy who works at the post office. It's super dark, man. <laughs> You're just gonna stay there and be like, I don't want to go in there. The Curiosity theme of this dark. game is definitely very. The, the tone is very dark. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, it's it, a nice change because everything else is bright. Right. Most, the majority of Zelda games, they start. You know, they start. On a, on a note of mystery, because you don't know what's going on until, you know, say you get past the first dungeon and then all the beans are spilled, and then it's like, oh, you know, some evil plot is attempting to take place, but in this game, it's like, it's inevitable, it's time. Time is running out. Yeah. Regardless of what you do in three days, it's the end of the world. One of the things that I really like about Majora's Mask, and this brings me into a disappointing aspect about Twilight Princess, even if it's my favorite Zelda game, Majora's Mask is a game where Ganon is not the villain. They deviated from the norm, and it worked out. Mm -hmm. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
like, that's why at first I was really excited in Twilight Princess because it seemed like we were getting a brand new villain, which we, we kind of did in Zant. Yeah. But then they decided to make just Zant another pawn in Ganon's own plans, you know? Yeah. Like, he, like, which they've done, like, a, a little bit of as of recent. Like, in Skyward Sword, he had Kirahim. Which turned out to pretty much just be an evil version of uh, Fee. Well, he wasn't in uh, Gear. He wasn't in uh, Twilight Princess, right? I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, in Skyward Sword, it was Bale, right? Or uh, it was um, it was Demise. Demise. Which would end up becoming Ganon. Uh, yeah, like, li like Ganon literally did not exist in in, in uh, Skyward Sword. Yeah, Ganon. Um, well. Ganon, the, the Demon King Demise is yes. the main bad guy, yes. and Demise says that he is going to incarnate the essence of his hatred in the form of Ganondorf. Exactly. Uh, so technically, Demise creates and essentially becomes Ganondorf. Exactly. So in all things, you know, in all things, all the Demise is the ultimate evil, whatever you want to call it, Ted Honcho. Not, not Ganon. Right. It's, Ganon's kind of a... a a cast of demise, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, Tail actually wants to help you out. Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. I was going to say earlier in the first Let's Play. Yeah. The banished tribe of the Twi'lai are the people who created the Mask of Majora. Mm. According to the Hyrule story. Mm. Oh no, spit my moral enemy. <laughs> <laughs> bubbles! Why did it have to be bubbles? What are you doing? Da, 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 da. You have the Ocarina of Time. Ocarina. Suddenly Ocarina. memories of Princess Zelda come oh. back. My first wet dream. I wasn't even <laughs> I was just like, that That noise is just a frustration of like I slowness. Thought, I thought that you were like, oh, yeah. oh. It was frustration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even see you in the rest of the game. This is the only time you see any reflection of Zelda, right? Yeah. I am praying. I am praying yeah. that I have something. I am praying that I have something. Hurry up! This song it <laughs> is <laughs> lit. <laughs> you put <break> buttons. <laughs> Apparently it did uh... <laughs> Yeah, dude, I played this song. Is this, this song is Deus Ex Machina? Alright, hurry up. Oh, yeah, another thing that supports the Link is Dead theory the fact that Zelda takes falling damage so seriously that. It's a possibility that he didn't survive the fall that he was in. When he when he found where the skull kid was. Mm -hmm. Snap out of that! <laughs> oh, I know what to do. Equip it. Where'd oh, you the get trumpets? Was, the fairy was green. Yeah. Where'd you get trumpets? I have to play Zelda's lullaby. Oh uh, no! Nope. You didn't do. Song of time. I know. He's just being a. He's being. Oh, I can pay a pawn a song. He's being a jerk. 
<laughs> the horse just comes over. Wee! <laughs> Play the song. No. Is that the Borello of Fire? Did you no. just really forget? Hold on. No. A down, A down, right down. Right. No, I'm saying Borello of Fire from Ocarina of Time. That, that is what it is. It's yeah. A C down, A C down. Then. That's, That's what it was. What it oh, I meant down. Yeah, down A. Down. Dun 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 dun. dun. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Did you just Could you imagine that though? Like the skull coach just watching you play all these different songs. What are you doing? <laughs> Making sure it was in tune. Sorry. <laughs> Do 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 do. Nothing was lost, well, except for the deco nuts. But, dude, when I was doing my while I'm doing my my challenge, my Zelda challenge, deco nuts are so good. Do you, do you know what my my Zelda challenge is right now? I'm playing Ocarina of Time with just a broken giant's knife. Interesting. That. Which I just think is masochism. Yeah, dude, it, it's, <laughs> it does less damage than the Kakiri sword. So, oh god! <laughs> yeah, we think that the Happy Mask Salesman should sound like Christopher Walken. Hey, look, we didn't die. <laughs> How are we here? Well, what just happened? Everything has. Huh. You know it's funny that we're playing a game too about like things at uh, at in time because I, I recently I, I mentioned this in a previous video I recently beat Bioshock Infinite and that game is really like trippy when it comes to like ideas of like different timelines and alternate universes and things like that. Uh -huh. Imagine one day if they make like a Zelda game from like the Ocarina standpoint where like reality just starts falling apart. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go get, like, let's go get shaken down by this guy. Are you looking for the Mario mask? Wait, yeah, did you guys notice that there's no time limit? In this room still? Yeah, there is no time limit. That's strange. It's right there in the dark. Oh, yeah, watch. Go. I see it, yeah. Right there on his back. You can see it better. You see it better from a distance, though. Yeah, I saw it though. All right. <coughs> Where are you able, able to, to recover, recover your precious, precious item from that imp? Oh! <laughs> You're just like. Where did you get the pipe organ? <laughs> and why would you need that many keys? I love this song. <laughs> so Lunk, Lunk is tone deaf, apparently. Have you ever done that? Just got it wrong. Yeah, no, no, I'll show you afterward. If you rotate the control stick around while you're pressing the buttons, he'll play it out of tune, and it's hilarious. Yeah, you can bend the tunes, kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, we... <laughs> funny, bye -bye. funny thing, by the way, people, um, we, had, we realized we had to do part two of this right away because we couldn't save until we were human. Yeah. So... Hooray! I look good in green. You never stop wearing green when you were. <laughs> Remember, it's Lunk. That's right, it is Lunk. We named the character Lunk. He's lowercase he's... L, capital U N K. And he's uh, Link's stupid cousin. Hello. 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 You get home doing this. Yes, I get it. <laughs> nah, that's fine. So please, give me that which you promised me. 
look at his face. Just watch his face. I know, I've seen this part. Don't tell me my mass. You did get it back, didn't you? <laughs> what have you done to me? Then you just leave it here and then he keeps doing this forever. Well, to be fair, Link wasn't really in a position to get the mask back. Yeah, and he never said he would do it. He just kind of told Well, that's because Link never- Link doesn't talk! At least not- Well, he didn't nod his head, he was just like, what? Maybe nodding wasn't physically possible with a Deku shrug head. Yes, it is, because he goes like that. That's well, you can't nod thing. without looking like you're just slamming your head in the ground. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to... That was me, that's just... Okay, I'm about to say, like, if you skipped it, I'm just going to say that you're, like, you're a jerk. Yep. Wicked powers bestowed by one who wears the mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's Mask will see or so, so great. Fire! Fire everywhere! Because the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> the Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever. Catastrophe? What? I said catastrophe. Yep, the tribe of the legend. The that was the people of the twilight. They were banished for they were banished for creating the mask of Majora. Yeah, QQ already. Ah! I'm begging you. Ah! <laughs> Such a schizo. Especially if you rush through it. Yep. Because I'm so fucking sick of this dialogue already. All right, so I hope you caught all that with us making an anecdote. I hope. Oh yeah, so now I'll show people who don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, hurry up, shut up. Did you give the tier to that guy yet, by the way? I did it last time, I'm telling about the... That's my favorite thing, so... Shut up, Tattle! I don't care, I know this already. I beat this game... Well, what if people at home times. don't, dude? Well, it's not a game, then. It's basically saying you have to go to four different areas where there are temples. It's like any other uh, Zelda game. Alright, watch. So this is normal key. But if I rotate the joystick... <laughs> you could probably learn to play different songs that aren't in the game because of the tune change. <laughs> and if you go... Well, how does the trumpet sound if you're... Alright, hurry up. Alright, so now... After that though, we'll show the cutscenes. Yeah, you can just hit it to skip it. So this is... <laughs> you know, technically because of, technically because of their designs and the way that they are circulating, they're technically not trumpets. Technically, they're a hybrid combination between a sousaphone and a French horn. Okay. <laughs> Either way, though, it sounds awful. Make it stop. It sounds awful what Victor's doing right now. So. <laughs> Yeah, same. Wait, strike the owl statue uh, first. Strike the owl statue first. Strike oh, the owl statue. You can't. you can't strike the owl statue yet? I don't think you can until you get the song. Alright, so. <laughs> did you mess up the tuning by the end of it? No, no, I, uh, I did the inverted, uh, the inverted time, uh, sort of time so I can slow down the. slow down the song. Oh, it makes the time go by slower? Yep. And if you do the. How'd you figure out the song? Uh, maybe you can do it now. Obviously, you can't access them. Is that how you save? Yep. You just go to one of these things and you. Do you want to save your progress? Yes. So, how did you learn that song? Uh, or did you just did you just remember it from the past games? Oh yeah. Well. Because you have to be taught it. I thought you had to be taught it. No, not that, not those ones. And if you do like the speed, the you can do a certain the song at double time. Yeah, which will like speed you to the next like half day. So. Oh, that's true because a lot of this <laughs> game probably requires waiting on the clock, right? Uh huh. So, so there's songs to slow down time, so you have more time to work on something. Yep. And there's songs to speed up time if you have to actually beat a certain point. Mm -hmm. Right. I got gotcha. you. 
All right, so we'll call that for part two. Yes. So uh, we're going to continue this as time goes on, but uh, mm -hmm. feel free to watch along with us and uh, pretty much just what we usually do, except more cognitive. <laughs> yeah. So until next time, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at Cherrybot Studios, and feel free to suggest games to us, either for future Let's Plays or just having fun. Yes, indeed. Uh, we'll, um, we'll try to the best of our ability to either find them or play them. Yep. So until next time, I'm Kyle. And I'm Victor. And I'm Josh. And keep rocking, stay awesome. We'll see you guys next time. And don't touch that.